In this video, I want to talk you through how you go about building a high ticket sales funnel. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the thing is, it's unlikely that someone is going to purchase a high ticket item or service from you straight off the bat. Why? Well, first of all, they don't know or trust you. And second of all, they aren't sure that you're going to deliver value. And value is the key word here. When people make a purchase, particularly for a high ticket item that they're going to have to part with a lot of money for, they want to be absolutely certain that they're going to get their money's worth. So how do you overcome this? Well, the easiest way, of course, is to build a sales funnel. Now, a sales funnel starts out like this. You have your freebie, which is what you're going to do to entice people to sign up to your mailing list so that you can send them information about further, more expensive offers. Now, a freebie can be something like a free report, and that's the most common type of uh, free giveaway. It could be a free video that you host on your server and it's not listed publicly so that people actually have to sign up onto your mailing list to get the URL so that they can watch the video. It could be a free webinar that perhaps has limited places so that they have to sign up ahead of time and you send them reminders. And then at the end of the webinar, of course, you'd have some sort of a sales pitch for a paid for product. Or it could be a free group training call. Now, these aren't as common as they used to be, but they are still relevant and they can still help you to uh, get people onto your list so that you can explain about your further offerings and also to give people a taste of what you can offer. The next step on the uh, sales funnel is a low priced product and this is something that you can sell to people who are on your list uh, that they can part with a small amount of money and see what they can get for that money and the key with your low priced product is you really want to over deliver and give absolutely outstanding value so that people will be more inclined to pay a bit more for your higher price products which i'll explain a bit more about in a moment now, when it comes to a low price product, I suppose the most common type of low price product is an ebook. And this can be either in PDF format or it can be for the Kindle e reader or something similar. And you can write this ebook yourself or you could buy private label rights content or PLR and repackage it and then uh, sell that on as a low priced product. Then you want your mid-range item, and this is where you're going to charge slightly more than the uh, low-priced product, and you're going to deliver even more value so that people who have become interested in your products through the freebie are uh, starting to take more interest with the low-priced products are really now going to start to become fans of you and of your offerings through the mid-range item. And this can be a video and it could be a short home study course. But you want to make sure in both cases that you have really high production values, that it's really slick and that people know that they are really getting a good deal from you. Because then that leads them on to purchasing your high ticket item. And your high ticket item could be something like a long in-depth home study course. It could be a coaching program. It could be one-on-one -on -one coaching where you coach them personally, either at their office or you have one-on-one -on -one coaching phone calls or Skype calls or one-on-one -on -one video conferencing and that sort of thing where you advise them on their unique challenges and find a way to overcome it that is just for them. And of course, you can have consultancy, which is something that takes it on from the next level where you actually become very involved in their business and in problem solving for them. And this can be very highly paid indeed. Now, of course, once you've got your uh, sales funnel in place, although I suppose actually sales funnel is a bit of a misnomer because in reality, it's more like a sales colander because all the way along, you're going to find that there are going to be people that are going to drop out who are not going to go up to the next level. So people who buy the freebie, a lot of them are going to be freebie seekers and they're not going to buy anything. So you'll find that you'll lose a lot of people after the freebie stage. 
when you get to the low price product stage, you'll find fewer people start to drop out. Although there are going to be some people who perhaps can't afford the mid-range item and therefore are not going to be prepared to、uh, pay anything more. And you'll also find a few people who will drop out after the mid-range item because they either don't want or can't afford the high-ticket item. But once you've got the people at the high-ticket item end, you, you'll find that the、uh, level of dropout becomes significantly less because these are people who are going to be your fans. These are people who are going to be really sold on you and your ideas and your products. And of course, the clients who stay with you longer will trust you more. Realize the value in your offerings. They're going to know that you know you are someone who knows what you're talking about, and that they get good value for money. Especially if you've been over delivering on the value all the way through the sales funnel, and they're likely to pay more in the long run. So there you go. A very brief introduction to selling high value products by building a sales funnel to your loyal fans and to your good customers.